G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're coming back into our Mega City world to start a brand new week after having just narrowly survived the Blood Moon Horde. Um, of all of like my day 7 hordes, I've gone through like the first horde of a series, that's probably the worst one that I've gone through. That just didn't go to plan at all, but somehow, through sheer terror, panic, spraying and praying and wasting all of our ammunition, we managed to come out the other side, which means that now, I need to head out into that very red and very gloomy world again to try and find the rest of the gubs that I need. I did get two levels up, so I do have two skill points to spend. And after seeing what happened to me last night, I desperately need a point in run and gun so I can reload while I'm faffing about and running for my life being scared as shit. And I think I also need... I was going to put it into Hidden Strike. Maybe even parkour. Actually, no, light armor. Light armor. I'm getting punched in the face way too much to not have that. So I'll grab you. And then if I don't find the workbench schematic in the next couple of days, I think I'm going to have to finally bite the bullet and buy... Look, I have to buy two points in that, though. So I need to go... Oh, it's so expensive. I need to be in select level four. So I need one, two, three points in you, and then two points in you. So five... Mm, five skill points to get a workbench. This is why I'm so desperate just to go and freaking find one somewhere. That's so expensive. You can see here I have uh, gone and upgraded the walls to not be flimsy cardboard anymore. So they hopefully won't break through the sides of that again and come around and get me. Still annoyed. Still annoyed that that's how it happened. But I have to learn from your mistakes sometimes. Oh, God. And try not to throw yourself out of a building. That's not the way down I normally go. I might just stick to the stairwell for now. I've tempted fate a little bit too much the last 24 hours. Time for me just to slow my roll, calm down as much as I can, and try not to make any more horrendously bad decisions. I think my plan for today is just to keep on heading down around this, like, this retail area. It keeps on sprawling out further and further, so there's more places for me to find. I still think passing gases are the way to go. Not only because I feel like that's where I'll find the workbench schematic, even though in my head, like, workbench, working stiffs. They kind of go hand in hand. But, like, I've never seen... I can't think of any time I've seen a, um, a workbench in a working stiffs. Right? So, like, is that actually where you get it from? Or am I just going to find, like, extra tools and stuff there? As opposed to the schematic for it. Plus, the added bonus of potentially finding bicycle parts or motorcycle parts or minibike parts or whatever in the, uh... Mm, in the passing gas is always kind of tempting as well. I mean, listen, it's right here. It's right here. I may as well give it a red hot crack. If I burn through here nice and fast, who knows what I might find. Or, I mean, the other side thing as well, I might find a better knife, which would be really good too. Stop focusing on one thing, Josh. I'm focusing on everything. I am very aware, by the way, that I just said what my plan was out loud. And before I even finished explaining my plan, immediately abandoned that, changed my mind, and decided to do something different. Please piss off. I want to get rid of... Actually, no, I can't get rid of that mark. Let's... I was just out where the drop is. I was going to say, it's like, show me where the drop went down, but I've marked that differently, so that's fine. Check all the shelves on the way through. That's the juicy loot I'm coming for. I mean, I could go... What? It's it, it's a weak-ass store. Why don't I just do that? I still have to raid the rest of the place anyway, but why don't I just quickly just knock that one out of the way, get that one done so I can grab the loot and just tick off that box. Oh, look at that. More aloe cream. Who would have guessed? Working stiff box gave me another axe. I'll just scrap it for the iron. I did just think to myself that I'm, I'm glad I found some lockpicks out here. Didn't bring any with me, but I'm sure they might come in handy. But I think this is a POI that has like the um the silver chest at the end of it. Not the leather chest, but the locked silver one. So having some lockpicks on me, definitely a good idea. Um, <laughs> having some more lockpicks on me, even better of an idea. Thank you for hearing my please, Seven Days Gods. Though if you could give me what I'm actually here for, that would be sick. There is um a lot of hubbub out the front out here, so you guys please just leave me some looting in peace. So I did hear someone else out here too. Oh, completely whiffed it, and now I'm out of juice. Hang on a sec while I get on my haunches and suck in the deep ones. Nice, nice, okay. I'm finding lots of like good stuff in here though. Repair kits, steel tool parts, various resources too. So not a bad place to be looting. <laughs> Just because that's not giving me the one thing I'm after. Doesn't mean I'll ride off the whole joint entirely. Look at that, more lockpicks too. 
Alright, more log fix again! God, I can't wait to get to the end of this and snap every single one of these and still not make it inside the box. Oh, another toilet pistol. Interesting. Let's compare the pair. They've got no ammo for it, but still worth testing it anyway. So we're on 32 and you're on 36. 36, yeah, without the mod at 36. Okay, that's fine. So you are definitely the better one. Although you do have you fire fast to have more rounds in the magazine. Though I'd rather do, I'd rather hit harder per bullet than just be able to fire more bullets. Because ammo is at a premium right now. Especially since I have zero of it. Nothing then. No toilet knives. No toilet knives. Alright, fine then. Be that way. I'll check your kitchen. Look, if I'm looking for cutlery, surely you're storing that in the kitchen. Oh, oh, you're a fast boy. You're... Wait, I didn't see glowing eyes though. Why are you so fast? Is that because you fell out of the roof? Yeah, you are just a regular muff. You fell down from the ceiling, took some damage and got real antsy about it. Well, bud, look, don't get mad at me about that shit. If you don't want to break your ankles, how about don't go and stand precariously on very weak glass? That's your own fault. You know, you can't blame me for all your problems. I'm sure it's someone else's problem that you're a zombie as well. You're not missing more than anything right now. In Sex Rex, when you get up to max level, killing blows grant 30 stamina. I'm murdering Muppets all over the place and burning my stamina juices doing it. If I had that to give me the stamina back that I just used killing someone, that would be sick. Oh, no, but get it out of this one as well. I'm just going to have the thought that maybe it's actually in this skill tree. It is. Each kill recharges stamina by 30 points. That does stack, but I'm not expecting this into strength at all. So that's going to be good. What happens to higher up in you? Do I get anything back out of these ones? No. No, I don't. Okay, so I need to push for that one. But I'm going to have to spend, what? At least three points. If I find some agility specs, that would be sick. But at least three points there. Get next level of you and the next level of you. That's what I should be focusing on. We'll go check the medical cabinet. See what you got for me. Some vitamins. We're starting to find some better gubs in the medical supplies. Not just about half a liter of aloe every time. That can go away. Got an egg. Got some lead. Got some random gubbins all over, but that's okay. All right. What's in the working stiffs box? I've opened them all up. Some more frames. I mean, thank you, I suppose. Another wrench and some concrete. Actually, thank you for that one. Need that for my home repairs. Just a sort of gubbins. A sort of gubbins and some duct tape. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Keep on looking. This is what I mean, though. Some more concrete, too. I don't think I've ever actually seen... I, uh, a workbench schematic in a working stiff. Despite the fact that, that makes a whole lot of sense to me, I don't think that's actually how the game works. When it's seven days to die, it takes your ideas of logic and throws it straight out the window like it's Abden Savage on Bloody Mythbusters. Oh, <laughs> yes! That's what I was waiting for! The lo and behold, the legendary, much talked about but rarely found, poop knife. Give me that. So you're doing, compared to my bone knife, so what are you, you're 6.6 .6 and 23. Admittedly, for a stamina cost of 7, but you, for a stamina cost of 8. <gasps> you're not even as good. I thought you were going to be so much better. How does that work? How does a blood stick of calcium not be better than forged iron? What? I swear you're supposed to be better though, aren't you? Aren't you doing less? You're actually doing, what, 0.6 more on power attack? but less on regular attacks. And you cost more for stamina usage. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so hard. I wanted you for so long and now I found you. You're not even that good. God, I hate the bloody weapons tears in this sometimes. I should never find the next class up and have it be worse. God, that's such a kick in the groin. What a roller coaster of emotions. What a, I was so, I fist pumped. I gave it the double fist pump when I found it. I thought that was the be all and end all of it. But I found the sodden thing and it's barely even worth holding in my slippery ass palms. I, I stuck my hands down the neck of a toilet to find that thing. And when I pulled it out, turns out it was just a piece of shit. Should have thrown it back in the toilet and flushed it like it belonged. Oh. <sighs> Now I'm angry. Now I'm angry and I'm on the warpath. Where's some zombies for me to take my frustrations out on? Get here and lick me apparently really good bone knife. There's a doggo just there. Let's go like that. Oh, and get a nice clean kill. I was really hoping for that because I don't have uh, any pistol ammo. So it's either that or a machine gun. 
Guess we're going machine gun. Cheeky decap. Always a good time. I can hear someone who's just as mad as me about that uh, travesty of a knife before beating on something somewhere. But that's right. I'll deal with them later on. Nothing in the bookshelf. Nothing else really around. I guess the Muppet is downstairs. That's fine. You just wait there. I'll be down in a jiffy to continue my rampage. There's the last of the Muppets guarding the loot at the end. Can I... Oh! One of them is actually the one who's alive at the moment. All right, just hang on a jiffy there, bud. Let me just go like that. What a corker of a pill that was. Bowl and Shane. When you hit a right in the slot, you got to give it a celebratory finger flick. Nice. Good pill as well. I don't think I killed that second one. No, I didn't. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you guys just like... I mean, that's super spoiler going to be lining up like that for me. But I don't have anything that's going to penetrate well enough. Just our stripper titties. There you go. Sit you down. Sit you out. Sit you down too, you unicorn bitch. God, I can't put an arrow. You've got a, a twig through your hippocampus. You can't be cruising around like that. Grab this ammo pile before I get the main loot as well. Scrap the crossbow bolts. Nine millimeter ammo. Thank you. I mean, it's not much, but it's Sutton. If I panic and pull out any of my guns, even seven rounds in there is better than zero. Okay. I've got a fair amount of lockpicks. I found them all here. So they're basically freebies. But if I could get to this nice and quickly, I'd be very, damn it, very happy about that. Give me them zeros. Damn it. Come on. Give me them. Z damn it. How many have we got left? Four left. Give me the zeros. We're almost there. You're basically just like fondling about inside the thing now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, please. Please. Damn it. Oh, thank God. Oh, the last one. The very last lockpick got me in there. What have you got? Oh, I'm, I saw the yellow chassis and I got very excited, but it's just the book. Read it again, just because. Some more sewing kits. I'll scrap you because I can't put you on anything. First aid bandos and some ammo. All right. Well, I mean, I almost got there. It, caught, it tickled the idea. It was just like tempted by the idea of giving me the chassis, but it just gave me the idea of it instead uh, again. All right, we'll keep on looking. There's another working stiffs there. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Apparently, it's working stiff day today. It's going to be a stiff day all day today, especially if I find anything to do with my bicycle. It hurts me to do it, but I've got to scrap the hunting knife that I was so desperate to find and chuck all that I can away into you. <sighs> Such a shame. Such an honest to goodness shame. Could have been so good. Could have been a game changer, but instead, it's just a emotional wrecker. Okay, so I've got a free inventory now. Let's get in and get out nice and quickly. It's 10 past 11, so no time to faff about. Surely I, get, like, I should get like extra damage for doing it. If I'm coming down with all my body weight and putting a bone through your skull, that should be insta-kill. Encourage trick shots. Encourage stunt kills. Let me do cool things. Searching all the toilets again, but I'm not exactly sure why, because now the dreams of getting the hunting knife have been taken away from me. Not even sure what I'm hoping for out of them. Search the shelves, mechanical parts, nothing else around here really. It's pretty, it's a pretty vacant working stiff so far. Check the loom. Any hot drops? No, nah, nothing in them. Search the medical cabinet notes, make sure we take all the aloe cream that might be around. Come on, time to start giving me some better gubs now. You've had your fun, chop out a bit. That's better. That's better. That's what I should be finding in whatever medicine cabinet I find. Vitamins, but more importantly, antibiotics. So I do get clobbered up a little bit and get infected all over again. Been there, done that. But if I can't find the honey next time around, at least I can cure a pretty decent amount of infection with that. There should be some in cube. Hang on, where... Where are all the zombies? I thought there would be more hanging out in the kitchen. Interesting. Where are they all? There's a bit of a welcoming party for me out here. I'm not really interested in them. Just in the mups who are still asleep around the joint. Not your best choice of cover for the zombie apocalypse, to be honest. No wonder you bloody died and got turned. You're having a kip outdoors. A bit of a blustery wind. And you'd be all sorts of messed up. Speaking of messed up, Arlene, there you are, checking out the potted plants. Look, we only just got back together again. It's a bit early to be choosing out house plants. I know there's going to be plenty of zombies out here, but I can't see any. They've done a real good job of hiding themselves, so I guess we'll just wake them up instead. Yep, yeah, there we go. Some around the side, too. They just hide out. Look at that. Look at that. You make a bit of a... Oh. 
That's a bad idea, you. All right, listen. You guys, you guys have your fun. I'm gonna um, be realistic about my chances here and know that I could not handle two girls at once. So I'm gonna stand over here while you guys have whatever fun time you're hoping for. You can deal with the aftermath of that too. I go on over there. For the last thing I do. Oh, turns out it's like uh, maybe they're hitting the button. As soon as I thought, oh, maybe they're hitting the bars underneath and they're not going to blow up the car. Nope, they fucking blew up the car. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I thought I was ready for it. It still gave me a fright. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, well, my prediction came to fruition and I'm glad I didn't go over there. Or else I'd be, um, I mean, if you're going to go out, it's a pretty good way to go, I suppose. Lying amongst a steamy ruin. Oh, anyway, <laughs> whatever the hell that was aside, let's grab the gums at the back of the trailer here. Still more to go on. No time to get distracted now. Some zombies are following me inside, but that's okay because I'm headed up to the roof. Just look for vultures first. Every time I get up onto the roof of a joint, I'm always looking for vultures more than anything else because they are just so bleeding annoying to deal with. Whether it be a picnic at the beach or wherever you might be, when an ibis comes a squawking, everybody's days are well and truly ruined. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right. One at a time. Slice off your noggin and work on the next one. I'm fine to... Oh, g'day, bud. I'm just going to finally give you all bleeding damage. If my bloody stamina could keep up. God, I need to hit a gym or something. Three whiffs of me bone and I'm out of action. Made it to the loot room. I don't think there's any zombies down here. It's a relatively small room. I think the roof was like the main battle part. Open up the door so I can escape if I need to, or more likely just let the zombie draft in. Oh! Ha, ha, ha. Fuck, there's not much better feeling than finding a triple storage pocket mod. You, you don't have it. Oh, you don't have any room for it, actually. That's not got any pockets on it. There we go. Slap you on. Only a couple more, and we're fully home and hosed on the old yeah. carrying capacity front. Give me you. Give me that. Scrap you. And kind of like. The pack mule perk, right? It's completely redundant because I can get all my carrying capacity just with pockets. Ooh. More brass. Not the one I need, but that's okay. I I do think the, uh, the pack one needs to be better. The pack mule perk should unlock extra slots beyond the normal one. You know, it's so like if with pockets, you can get this many. But with pack mule, you get like an extra two rows or something. Give you a really big backpack and make that actually worthwhile. Because at the moment, why would I waste points on that when I can just get it for free? There's no secret boxes around the joint, I don't think. I think I've got everything out of here. What did I actually end up with? Not a lot of stuff, if I'm being honest. I can scrap you. I'll drink that coffee just to free up some space and turn the rest of that into frames. Got a lot of frames going for me, though, which is good. Use that bone to repair you. Just like taking stock of my inventory at the end of the day. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, not not a lot going on. I'm just going to use you because you take up space for no bleeding reason. All right. You, you've been waiting on this door for a very bloody long time. In fact, I didn't even get into that room yet, did I? Okay, hang on, there's still more to go. But you just need to calm your bloody farm. It's fine. All right, look, I'll let you in and depart you from the world. I've been causing a ruckus for way too long. Wasn't much to speak of in here. There is some trash in the ceiling, but that's right, I can stay up there. Barrel extender mod schematic, all right, not too shabby. All right. Well, that was uh, that was a fun endeavor while it lasted. I what's the time? It's almost three o'clock. God, today has gone very bloody quickly. I'll grab my gubbins, all that I can, and look at that because I've got the extra pockets. I'm not even close to being cucumbered. I'm looking pretty pretty. Nice. All right, let's um. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Let's just continue looking around, see what we can find. I haven't given up hope yet. I just want the bloody workbench. There's a rando truck just here with a Savage Country book inside it. County? Country. What is it again? I'm sure whichever one I said first was the wrong one. Savage Country. I got it right this time. Look at me go, but still second guess myself. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry. Gotta like stab you in the dick real quick. Bonds are my level up. Got a skill point to spend. What do I need to spend that one on? I know I wanted to save up for Florida Blows, but it's so far in the distance. I'm not sure how viable it's actually going to be. For good sake. Just... Just couldn't make it work. Just couldn't make it work. Get it done. A spear and some bow parts. I'll scrap you. I'll take the bow parts. Although, am I ever really going to make myself a bow? Why? I mean, I, I have a bow, but I'm kind of planning. I talked about this the other day. Kind of planning to just eventually run with, like, silenced pistols and stuff as my, um, as my stealth weaponry. 
So, I'm not sure, but I'll hold on to it for now. Tech Junkie Volume 5, Stunner Pulse Morphers, but stun buttons, I mean, sure. Pity I'll never use a stun button because it's absolutely, utterly worth it. You know what? I'm not going to bother scrapping you. You, there any trash cans around? Anywhere? Here we go. Here we go. Trash pile, go where you belong. Piss off. The last time I came in here, it was pissing down something shocking. So now at least I can kind of see what I'm up against. Do I have any wood on me? I've turned it all into frames. I have. Anything in here that I don't need to be carrying around. A lot of extra gubbins for no reason. Lead can piss off. That can piss off. I'm not throwing away some resources I potentially can't mine. I don't need more aloe cream. Uh, but I'm just kind of... I'm anticipating I should be able to find some nodes somewhere. Even on like the very outskirts of the map or like on the mountain ranges over there because the city can't spawn on mountains. So that might still be kind of wilderness out there for me to go and have a scrounge around in. So I might still get lucky and find myself... I was going to raid this place. And find myself some nodes somewhere. But there's a fair few uh, what looks like vehicle places out here. I thought I saw a collision repair place out here somewhere too. But I quickly just knock myself up a, uh, a box and chuck all my gubs in it. I can raid this place and see what we come up with. G'day, g'day everyone. How's it going? Who's awake and who's around? I need to make this relatively quick. Completely missed you. Sorry about that, sweethearts. Anyone else? There's a couple of mo- Ooh, there you are. There's a couple of moans and groans coming from outside. I'll get there in a jiffy. The knife is just so good. I'm starting to fall in love with the knife again. I remember back in like Eclipse, I think it was, the series that I used the knife last, that I got pretty excited about machetes pretty early on. If I ever- oh, some more 9 millimeter chuck into you. If I ever find a machete now, I'm going to be real excited about it. About as excited as I got about the toilet pistol before I had all my hopes and dreams that derived from me. Oh. Good day, love. Come downstairs and interrupted your nap in the closet. That's fine. Search out. Anyone hiding in here? Thought it used to be a used to be a safe in here. I've got one lockpick. What do we think our chances are? What do we got? Chance? We blew all our um, all our luck on the other box. I think about getting on the last lockpick, but we'll try it with one. You never know how lucky you just might get while the zombies are bearing down on you. Come on, give me them zeros all the way in on the first pill. First pill! That gets me a little bit fizzy. What you got for me, Jigglypuff? Couple of nugs that I can't do fucking anything with, but a bit of ammo. That's a shame. Like, I can't do anything with... What do I do with nuggets now? Just throw them away? Use them as pebbles to distract the zombies with the glints in their eyes? I don't know. I don't really have much of a choice because traders just aren't around anymore. Which I'm still really liking, by the way. I see a workbench up there, so I have the potential to get the schematic out of that. Oh. Oh, g'day everyone. I seem to remember the, the chances of finding the schematic in those was like, oh, hello, it was like 50%, I think. That may have changed for Alpha 20, because we were finding a lot of them all over the shop in Alpha 19, so that may have changed since then. But I live in hope of getting the luck of the gods. The, um, what, the getting into the safe in one shot might have blown my load, though. Oh, fuck me dead. G'day, lad. G'day, lad. I was a little bit busy there, a little bit, uh, distracted by loony goodness as I usually am. You snuck up on me. Oh, fuck. You cheeky sausage. Um, I, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. That is a wandering horde. I need to sort my shit out. I've come back to the main room. Oh, they're coming through the doors. There's a lot of them still downstairs. I don't know. I just need to keep my eyes on a swivel like I'm a freaking owl going, hoo, oh, hoo, hoo in the night. That's a lot. That's a lot. And when there's a lot, we just let rip with some hot, fiery lead. Although, in fairness, the machine gun didn't do quite as much as I was hoping it would. Just stab and retreat. Try to burn all your stamina in one go. Stop it. Stop it. You may be agitated, but I'll agitate your insides. That's what a sharp knifey boy is for. These idiots are pretty suck. I don't even know how I can get you out of there. Can I, like, drop him behind you? Oh, he swiveled. He swiveled. I thought he was going to be stuck, but he's got the turn and circle of an inner city car. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Have a little squeeze at you. I'll drink you. More damage to mountain lions. Sounds good to me. Read that. Take you. I'll deal with you in a jiffy, buddy boy. Whew. That was, um... That was not a good feeling turning around and seeing half a world of zombies parading like they're bulls in a Rage Against Machine song. Huh. Take you. Check this as well. Nothing there. Where was that? There it is. Come on. Schematic. Damn it. Crickets are chirping. It's seven o'clock. but still got time to do the last of the roofy bits. Anyone around? Any peckers? Nah. Ooh. I... 
I see you though. That's right. I'll give you. If there's no peckers up here, I'll do the job. Give you a cheeky peck. Completely fucking with the shot. We'll try that again. Like there. I hit you. Didn't do enough. This. That's kind of why I want to go with the suppressed pistol instead. Because then I can aim it properly. And also, like, by the time I spec up my pistol stuff, even though it won't do as much stealth damage as the bow does, it should still hit pretty bloody hard. Especially when I brought, like, a Dolter or something. That's going to do a real number on some zombies. Wakey, wakey. Everyone come out. There you go. Is it just you? That's fine. We're doing good. We're doing good. For, like... 99% of the time, the knife does a really bang up job. Then the one time it doesn't, I'm up shit creek. Another book, read that, eat you, scrap you, take you, and see what's in the shotgun box. But, here I done. Actually, that's not too bad, actually. Pistol parts and shotgun rounds. Pistol parts will come in handy before too long. In fact, what does it take to... <clears throat> say that like you have testicles, Josh. What does it take to make myself a pistol? Tier twos, but with some more points that'll get better and better. Handgun parts, forged iron. That could be doable, actually. Maybe I should just make myself a better gun rather than relying on the RNG. Scrap you. Ooh, looks like there's the boundary of the world over there. I want to head back more inboard. This is good, though. This is good. I am utterly chockers with all of the loot, though. I don't have any room to spare, not any at all. $98 reduce, two more bullets there, but I need to keep those. I can scrap you. And what else can I get rid of, actually? Acid, I'll hold on to that one. I've already got a torch, and I really only need that for my helmet light, so I'll scrap you, that'll free up another spot. Anything else not really worth taking home with me. I don't need two bones. That can piss off too. And I'm now one cucumbered. I mean, look, you don't do shit for me. You don't do anything at all, so you can piss off too. That could be there for some other happy survivor to come across and... But you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll keep it safe for him. I'll keep it nice and safe for him. There. If anyone wants some silver nuggies, it's over at Carl's. Just having a squiz about to see what else is around here. You got a Shamway, Savage Country, and a Collision Repair Center just here. Oh, yep, and an Arlene too. That's fine. I'm going to start heading home though. Oh, shit. Oh, I really need to head home because it's very late in the day. Didn't realize the sun had set so much. It's 8 bleeding 30. I know, blew my mind too, ScoMo. I need to get back home very quick because I'm a long way away from my house. I might get caught out at night time. Oh, I got too distracted by shiny things. Bad, Josh, bad. Do I have any fluids on me, actually? Anything that I can drink that's going to give you my stamina buff? That one will do. I wasn't thirsty. I didn't need the water. I just needed the stamina regen. Because I have a long way to run in not a lot of time. Not much of a runner at the best of times, especially when I'm under pressure. Oh, just pretend it's the fridge, Josh. It's got the packs of Doritos inside it. You're running for snacks. You can do it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it just in time. Got a half an hour to spare, which is actually more than I thought I was going to have. So pretty chuffed to bits with that. Quickly break down the old parking meters outside, seeing as I have some spare time. Because you usually have some dollar reduce in there for me. Only a couple up. That's I only need a couple because I already had a decent stack on me. Arlene's just trundling down the street. Need to clear our surroundings so they don't follow us back up the stairs. Because as we know, my little barricade on the stairs is worth dick all. Piss off, please. There we go. All right. Up and Adam, Let's get cracking. Let's go get back home. Just chuck everything I need to away. Food and stuff in there. Antibiotics. The, where'd you go? The wonderful holy grail of medicine. Finally got that back in my hot little hands. Take both of you. You have some, should have, I thought you had some fuel in you. I guess I left it burning. That was silly by me. Gonna burn your house down again like you're roasting some onions. That all goes like that. You will go into there and you will go into them. Nice. Good day. Came out with some new things as well. Well, now that I'm home and have a little bit of time and I can use the fire on my axe to see what the hell I'm doing, I can take this opportunity to clear out some of the rubbish that's taking up the world down here. I'm going to leave... Oh, I might, uh, might just crouch then a little bit. That might be a better idea. I'm going to leave that gas barrel there because it's currently lighting up the room. Uh, not well, but better than nothing, I suppose. We should go down and get one of those torches, like the fire torches I put down at the horde barricade. Just to um, light up this area for the same amount of heat spend anyway. Oh, damn it, you're all you're like eight different blocks. Oh. 
It is gorgeous out there, though. It really is. I'm I'm in love with this world. Like, I thought I was going to be really sad and miss the Clock Tower world, Sutton Shocking, but, I mean, I, I do, and I did. But this is like, this is like the rebound world that you accidentally get attached to and move in with. Because I'm loving it here. I look out the windows, I like what I see. It's, it's patched up the holes in my heart that the Clock Tower series left. This is a good place to be living. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. No, actually, gods, no, I take that back. I hate this place. I would love it so much if you killed me. There, that, that, that should do it. That should counteract them here that I like what I'm, up, what I'm up to. It took a while, but that, there we go, is the last of the junk cleared from my new floor of my apartment, just expanding my living area like it's nothing. Where was the next break in stairs? There. So I could actually move all the way down to here, but that's way too close to the ground and someone will hear me. So I might even end up just like blocking this off. So the only way up here is through the elevator, like a penthouse elevator that I have a key card for. Now you, given this is where I'm going to be living now, eventually I'll like move all my storage down there as well. Maybe even change the ladder in the elevator shaft to only go to that floor. Then I can take the stairs up to my living pad if I so desire. But nice, I now have some nice open area to live in and to move in and to love in. Although, <laughs> I've been doing all that by myself. I haven't really explored out that way at all. You can see like in the distance, the city continues on through the haze and the fog, but there's probably lots to be explored out that way. So it's like you got like the more like industrial sector out there with all like your garages and stuff like that. And then up this way is like your inner city. I like that, I like that quite a lot. I'm just not having much luck finding the bloody workbench schematic though. I think maybe I need to go back to the original plan and just go raiding through like th through the suburbs and see what I can find out there. Maybe my best shot is to find workbenches in people's garages and get the schematic out of those ones. Maybe that's the play. Because whatever I've been trying just hasn't been working for me. I did get a skill point, but I think I need to save that and focus on getting that 30 stamina back for kills on the flurry of blows. That's kind of got to be my priority because I'm running out of stamina. I'm running out of juice. And as the game gets harder, I'm going to need to be stabbing a whole lot more. So I'll push for that one first. Hence, maybe spend the eight gazillion points. That's seven points to get my bloody workbench through intellect. Travesty. It's a bleeding travesty, I'll tell you something. But either way, I'm going to have to come back and deal with that travesty in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.